Today I'd like to make a quick video demonstrating how to create a Google account for your Android phone. If you don't have one of these set up already, you're missing out on a lot of what your phone can do, uh, being as that's required to access certain features of your phone, uh, namely the Android market, which is where you purchase or download for free anyway, uh, applications that expand the functionality of your phone. So this may vary depending on the make and model of your phone as well as the operating system that you have um, a little bit, but it's ultimately going to be the same type of idea. So it, it just may look a little different. So from your home screen, get your phone fired up anyway, and from your home screen, you're going to press the menu button. And from there, Every phone should be the same for this step. You'll have a settings option down here in the lower right hand corner. Go ahead and click that. This is where it may look a little bit different. Uh, this is your main settings menu for the entire phone. So what you're looking for in this menu is accounts in sync. Uh, some phones may call it just plain and simply accounts. Others may have the extra sync part on the end. Uh, so you may have to scroll but look for accounts and sync. Click on that. This page will come up with all the accounts that you have signed into on your phone. Uh, if the phone's new, if you haven't set any up currently, there won't be anything in the uh, manage accounts section here at the bottom. All different phones though, HTC, Motorola, Samsung, whatever they may be, will be the same for this part of the process though. At the bottom part of the screen, you'll see a button that says add account. So we're going to go ahead and tap that. And Google, is the type of account we want to create. So this section is just going to tell you a little bit about what you're doing about adding an account. Uh, it'll tell you that you can also add more than one Google account to your phone uh, for whatever reason. So the first step, just go ahead and hit next. This is where it will vary depending on who you are and what you use for your email provider currently. If you already have a Gmail account, that's great. You can go ahead and hit sign in. and It'll just prompt you for that Gmail address and your current password. This is exactly the same information as what you would use to log in on your computer. Uh, so if you already have that, go ahead and hit the sign in button, enter your username and password, and hit sign in. The phone will do the rest, and that's all there is to it. So if this applies to you, you're done right here. If you don't already have a Gmail account already, you can go ahead and create one. And just as the title says, you can hit Create here. This screen will prompt you for a few things, your first and last name, and then your desired Gmail account login. So whatever you want your email address to be, that's what you'll type here. Now, being as Gmail is such a widely used and common email service provider, um, Usernames are getting harder and harder to come by for something that's unique to you. Sometimes uh, your first and last name together aren't unique enough. Some, somebody's already picked that one up. So if you try a couple and you're not having any luck, if it brings back an error message saying that that name is unavailable, uh, try adding maybe some numbers to the end of it. Some people use numbers in their birthday or their anniversary. Uh, any number, series of numbers, um, you can add to the end of your name, for example, or just anything else, whatever you want your Gmail address to be. Once you enter in that information, you'll just hit the Next button, and provided that uh, that Gmail address is available, it'll ask you to go ahead and enter a password for your account, which you'll have to type twice. Your password needs to be a minimum of eight characters in length, and uh, you'll type it twice to confirm. After that, go ahead and hit Next again, and... Um, that's, that'll finish creating your account. The last step will pop up a page asking you to type in some odd-looking characters, some letters. Uh, that's a, called a CAPTCHA, and that's just to verify that you're actually a human. You're not uh, a robot creating an account to spam anybody. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. Usually it's five or six letters. And then the last button will appear down here in the corner. Instead of saying next, it'll say finish. Click that and that'll uh, finish in your account. I'm not going to create another one um, just for the purpose of the video, but I at least wanted to get you to this screen. The rest is pretty self explanatory. Uh, if you've got an Android phone, I'm hoping that you'll be able to follow through the uh, step by step directions, at least on the website or on the phone itself, for creating the account. That's really all there is to it. Once you have that created, uh, your phone will automatically log you in with your Gmail account, which does several things. Um, 
number one, it gets you into the Android market, which is probably the, the reason above all other reasons to have a Gmail account. The Android market's where you can pick up all the applications that are available uh, for Android phones. That greatly expands what you can do with your device. Uh, another reason that it's good to have a Gmail account is to back up all your sensitive uh, contact information. So if anything happens to your phone, if it's lost or stolen, if it's damaged beyond repair, you have to pick up another phone. Um, then you just, when you get your new phone, enter in the Gmail account information that you already have, your contacts will come back down to the new phone automatically. So you always have that permanent backup. The same is true for your Gmail uh, email account as well as for your calendar. Your, your Gmail gives you a free calendar service that's linked to that email address that you can access both on your phone and on the computer. So contacts, calendar, and email are all backed up through this one account automatically. Uh, if you have a different phone that you have to pick up, all that information will come back down to the new phone. The other perk to that is that it stays in synchronization with your computer access. So if you pull up your calendar on the computer and you update your calendar, that change will reflect on your phone um, shortly thereafter and vice versa. If you, if you add an appointment to your calendar uh, on your phone and then you log on to your Gmail account on the computer, you'll see that as well. So having a Gmail account is not only uh, a necessity for accessing several parts of the phone, but it's also a great convenience too. You've got that backup, you've got the instant synchronization, um, and all that's great to have on, on such a nice phone like these. Um, that pretty much takes care of it as far as creating a Gmail account or signing into an existing account with a brand new phone. Uh, one thing I'll also point out is that you can have uh, several Gmail accounts set up on your phone. So if you use one for home and, and one for work, for example, um, your phone will allow you to set up more than one Gmail account. That doesn't always apply to everybody, but you do have that ability. That takes care of it for today. Uh, this is Mike with ICT Droids signing off. Have a great day.